good morning or good afternoon i must say to all of my brothers and sisters in the lord jesus christ yahushua hamashak i greet all of you i am yet with another video again but please go to me go with me to isaiah 55 i am going to start um from isaiah 55 1 and 2 and then 7 and 8. everyone that thirsted Come to the waters, and he that have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. For you do spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat that ye which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Okay. So I am here again with yet another very important video. I have many things that I would like to discuss. And on, I believe it was in december of 2022 or could be in january i'm not sure i heard in the spirit susanna married to the lord jesus christ the great supper is ready my brothers and sisters the great the great supper is ready the bridegroom is about to come out from his chamber okay so in order to be ready, what do you do? Repent. Turn away from all of your sin. Change your mind. Stop doing bad things against the Lord. Get baptized and receive His Holy Spirit. Please seek the Lord Jesus Christ and repent. Turn away from all of your sin. Go to the Lord and pray and ask Him to give you strength. He will give you strength. Okay, so... When I heard that, I was very happy because right now I am married to the Lord Jesus Christ and day and night I focus on his work and I focus on his holy word. But there are other things that, other messages that I receive. On January the 26th, 2023, I heard in the spirit, I see a man rising up from the sea and you can get that in Revelation 13, 1 and that is the Antichrist. And I also heard in the spirit, the deception has started. Many will come in the name of the Lord. Do not trust them. We know that Matthew chapter 24 tells us that in the last days, there will be false prophet, false Christ, and so many bad things. But one of the things I want to discuss with you guys today is about witches, warlocks, and wizards. They are right now in the churches and they have infiltrated the churches of God. And I am not only talking of what I heard, I'm talking about this based on my own experiences. You know, so I also heard in the spirit, trust no man, do not trust anyone. Because I had an encounter with someone who is in the church and she went around spreading the gospel, wearing uh, t-shirts and clothes that says the name of the Lord and she was a witch so please do not trust anyone only trust in god god will never deceive you only man will deceive you we must remember that satan comes as an angel an angel of light according to second corinthians eleven fourteen. so he he comes in a dis, uh, deceptive manner and he also sending out his workers to pretend that they are the lord's children but they are not the lord's children they're bringing people into the churches right now and teaching them how to perform black magic and witchcraft so we must pray to our father the great i am for discernment because without discernment you would not know so pray to the lord jesus christ for discernment and he will give you discernment because in the book of matthew tells us those who ask it will be given unto them very important we know that laying of hands 
is extremely important because in the book of numbers chapter 8 let me see here the book of numbers chapter 8 moses lay his hands on joshua to make him a new leader and the people laid their hands on the priest to officially commission them as representative before god and that you can find that in numbers 8 10. So laying of hands is very important, but you have to be very careful who you lay your hands on and do not allow anyone to lay their hands on you. We are spiritual being and spirit can be transferred from one person to another. The book of, um, let me see here, the, the book of Timothy chapter 5 verse 22 says, and I'm going to repeat it. Um, what it says here. Do not lay hands suddenly on anyone. Timothy 5 2 says. Do not lay hands suddenly on anyone. So there's a reason why the Bible will tell us. Do not lay our hands suddenly on anyone. Okay. So I also heard in the spirit that Jesus is giving rewards to all of his children. According to our words. You can get that in Matthew chapter 16, verse 27, for those who serve the Lord. On that day, you will see the distinction between those that serve God and those that did not. You will see the difference between the righteous and the wicked as clearly as Moses did in the Exodus or as Noah in the flood. We must be blameless before God. It means we must not have any spots in our garment. We must repent from all sin and all unrighteousness and seek the lord jesus christ and get baptized because john chapter 3 verse 5 tells us unless we are not baptized with the holy spirit and baptized with water we cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven so make sure that you seek the lord repent of all sins get baptized receive his holy spirit i also heard in the spirit again susanna marry to the lord jesus christ the great supper is ready so my brothers and sisters, the great supper is ready. Make sure that you are ready to go to that great supper because the bridegroom is about to come out. So may the Lord bless all of you and may you please, please my brothers and sisters, the Lord is sending messages upon messages, warning everyone to turn away from their sin. Please seek the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only way, the truth, and the life, and the only one who can give you salvation. May God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.